This video is going to show you how you can resize any photo in Windows 10 or Windows 11. If you're watching this video as a short, tap the thumbnail in the bottom right hand corner right now to see the full video. If you're already watching the full video, hang tight, more details coming up shortly. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things help us make more great videos for you. So as I say, this guide is going to show you how you can resize any image in Windows 10 or Windows 11. The process is exactly the same. So let's just, I'm just going to come out of this here. And what I'm going to do is we need to find the picture first of all. So most pictures are going to be in the pictures folder. So click on any yellow folder on your screen and just have a look down the side there and see if you can find pictures. Now, if it's a picture you've downloaded from the internet or downloaded as, as an attachment from your email, then it might well be in the downloads folder. So have a look there. Or it could be in the documents folder. But generally, these pictures are going to be in the pictures folder. So let's just find it in there. And this is the one that I want to resize this uh, desert. Now, normally to open it, I would double left click on it and that would open it up to view. If I wanted to edit it, instead of double left clicking on it, I'm going to right click once on it and that should get us a menu come up to the side. Now, your menu might look like this or it might look like this if you're running Windows 10. Now, whatever menu comes up, you want to try and find open with. So move your mouse over open with. Don't left click on it, just move your mouse over it. And then go across to the right. You've got to try and follow the line of open with and go down to paint, not paint 3D, but just paint. Left click once on it. And this will open the picture up in the Windows Paint, which is a, a photo tool. It's an editing tool. So here I can't see the whole picture. So what I can do here is if I can't see the whole picture, I can zoom out. I can use this this bar at the bottom of the screen or the plus and the minus. So let's just minus that. OK, now that hasn't actually resized the photo. That's just made it easier for me to see. Now, if I want to resize it to make the picture smaller, both in size and measurements, then what I can do is I can go into this little icon here, which says resize and skew. So left click once on it there. So there we go. We've got options here so we can choose what percentage we want to increase or reduce it by. So if I wanted to re reduce it to 50% of its current size, I would click into horizontal there and just type 50 by zero. And there you go. As you can see, it's also changed the vertical size as well. Now we'll come back to that in a minute. If I click on OK now, there you go. The picture's been reduced to 50% of its original size. Now, if we want to reset that back, we can click on this undo button just up here once and there you go, that puts it back. Now I'm just going to go back into the resizing tool again. If I want to double the size of it, then I can type in there 200 and then OK. And there you go, that's doubled the size of the photo. Now you must bear in mind when you increase the size of, the, of, of any photograph, it is likely to lose quality. So just, just be careful that you don't resize it too much because the quality can suffer. It can go blurry, pixelated etc. So I'm just going to undo that and uh, I'm just going to go back into the resize tool there. So as you can, as I told you before, horizontal and vertical stay the same. They stay in tune with one another. So if I, if I change the vertical, there you go, the horizontal changes with it. Now, what if you didn't want to keep it in proportion? You can get rid of this, this little lock here. That's the maintain aspect ratio lock. So left click that, it goes white. And now what we can do is we can change the size independently, horizontally and vertically. But just bear in mind, this is going to change the orientation of the photo. So, so things in the photo could look fatter, they could look thinner. So for instance, let's just get, give you a, an example. So if I put set the horizontal to 200, I've got the lock off there. So because it's in white and the vertical has stayed at 100. So let's click on OK and see what happens. There you go. As you can see, the picture's been stretched. It's made that little rocky 
uh, look fatter. Let's just go back and do it the other way. OK, so let's just go back to the resize, take the lock off and let's just adjust the vertical to make that 200. Click on OK and there you go. It's made the picture look very thin. So you've got to be careful when you're unlocking the maintain aspect ratio not to make the picture look too silly. You might have also noticed when you go into the resize option just there that you've also got pixels as an option rather than percentage. So if you wanted to set the picture to a certain pixel size, say if you was putting it on a website or something like that, then you can choose the number of pixels there. So for instance, if I wanted this, uh, this picture to be, say, I don't know, a thousand pixels wide then you could just type in a thousand there again you can lock or unlock the uh, maintain aspect ratio I'm going to keep that locked so that it doesn't stretch the photo but if say for instance you wanted a photo hat to be an exact size then you could unlock it and uh, and you could type in whatever you want but if you leave it locked click on OK there you go it keeps it in proportion but let's just go back turn off the maintain ratio and let's just adjust this say to 500 tall then click on OK and there you go but like I say it's made the picture look pretty much out of proportion so it is always a good idea whenever you can to keep that maintain aspect ratio lock on or if it has to be a, a certain pixel size then you can use the crop tool. So what if you wanted to crop the picture that's another way of making it small what if I didn't want all this over here, all the all the background there. Now, what you can do is this, this is the select tool just up here. So you can click on that and you can select the area that you want to just keep in the photo. So to do that, just move your mouse at the top left hand corner of where you want to keep the parts in in the photo. So just move your mouse to the top left corner of whatever you want to keep in the photo. Click and hold the left mouse button down and then drag out a box and make sure that box just contains the parts that you want to keep. Once you've dragged the box out to the parts you want to keep, let go of the mouse button and then go up to this here, the crop tool. Click on that and there you go. That has cut out all the other parts of the photo. It's just left that part of the photo in. Again, if you crop too much, you can click on the undo button up there and uh, that restores the picture back and you can try again. And when you're ready to save it, all you do is if you want to overwrite the original file, then click on the little picture of the disk up the top there. Or if you want to save it under a different file name and retain the original file, then click on file and then click on save as select the type that you want to save it as i would recommend a jpeg that's probably the most compatible and then all you need to do is just give it another name like i say the original name of mine was a desert so i'm going to call it desert smaller there you go and then click save and now what i've done is i've managed to retain the original file and i've also got desert smaller which is the smaller file so there you go. That guide showed you how you can reduce the size of a photo and also crop it as well in Windows 10 and Windows 11. And please, whilst you're here, have a look at the description of this video. I've got some great deals on Fire Sticks and VPNs down the bottom there. So if you're interested in getting a Fire Stick or a Fire TV Cube or a VPN, please consider clicking on the links down below there's some great offers but also it supports this channel as well if you do use those links and also whilst you're here I've got thousands of other videos why not have a look around hopefully whilst you're here you'll find something to educate you entertain you amuse you and maybe even save you some more time and money